the end of your electrical apprenticeship, you'll need to take the AM2 or AM2S test before you can become fully qualified. What's this? Think of it as similar to a driving test. You spend weeks or months learning how to drive, then the driving test is where you put everything into practice and you're marked against strict criteria. The AM2 and AM2S are just like this. It's an in-depth assessment where you have to carry out specific tasks to show what you've learned during your apprenticeship. The whole test is around 16 hours long, split over two and a half days, and it's broken down into different sections, such as installation, fault finding, safe isolation, and inspection and testing. Strict exam conditions are in place during the assessment, so this means no electronic devices or getting help from anyone else. You'll be monitored by an assessor, who will be marking your work as the day progresses. Once you pass the assessment, it's one of the final pieces of the puzzle to completing your apprenticeship and becoming a fully qualified electrician. Your training provider will tell you which assessment you'll be taking, the AM2 or the AM2S. This simply depends on which type of apprenticeship or training program you're following. It's really important that you don't take the test until you're 100% ready. You can use our self-assessment checklist to work through everything you need to do. Use it during the last few months of your apprenticeship. Talk to your employer and training provider and make sure you're comfortable with all areas of the test so you're fully prepared before booking. The NET website gives you much more information on the AM2 and AM2S and each section in detail, the checklists, how to best prepare and what happens during the assessment. Visit netservices.org.uk to find out more.